What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Grace Karis video. Today, we're playing the Marco Simone golf course in Rome. Don't go no one that back calling me splurge. Drop me jump right out the curve. Make this run fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. We made it down to the locker rooms. These are the actual locker rooms that the players use when they actually played the Ryder Cup. We're gonna go tour Europe first and then we'll go look at the USA after. Let's go. All 12 of our players. Of These are all 12 of the European players. Whoa, these are their lockers. Like this is like one of their lockers for sure. Oh look, here's all the players. We got Fitzpatrick. Where's Hovland? I didn't see Hovland. Oh, there he is. There's Hovlin, the goat. Ah! There's a photo of Hovlin eating pizza. That's where he was eating pizza right there. Insert clip of Hovlin eating pizza. So I guess this is the captains, or who, I don't know who this is. It's there. And the Europeans have the first point of the 1991 Ryder Cup. Well, would you believe it? Here's Balls were not included in the tea time. The cost to play was 350. I don't know how much the balls were. I'm guessing like 20 bucks for 30. So I got two buckets of 30. So I have 60 balls because I have played in two weeks. We're gonna get the balls. We're gonna hit some balls, test the range, putt a little bit, and then head out to the course. Dump me some. That's it? Yeah, that's like 10 balls. They jipped me. I bought art the other day <laughs> and it wasn't real art, so. Europe won. Team Europe. Tragic loss for the USA. These grandsons were packed. They were cheering. We're the left side. Of the green. They had all their cheers and stuff. If I break 100, I'm going to be super stoked. They're obviously hitting in the 70s and 60s. That would be a dream. Okay, so let's just have the experience. And we do get carts here, which is surprising. A lot of people are walking, but we got a cart. See how I score compared to the pros. Sound like I hit a baseball bat right there. I got my fans up there. Woo! Okay, we hit a 220 drive. That's good for me. We got 160 to the pin. I don't know what any of these go. I'm gonna try the six. That was good. I hope it didn't go over. Green? You think we're on the green? Yes. I can chip that. We're on fire today. I've never hit a better shot than that. These aren't even my clubs. And I hit two insane bombs. What? Two insane bombs. What the heck? Are you kidding me? That was nice. Am I about to make a par right now? Technically, this is a gimme according to Fowler. It should only be awarded. Ooh, sweating that. Thank you. Pars key. Wow, par off the rip. I'm gonna take these clubs home. These are sick. I call this the bat. Home run. Hell yeah. It's kind of chaotic here. Just a normal driving. This is absolutely insane. There's so much crap going on here. Ah. Let's go, baby. Are you serious? It went out and it came in and it's on the green. I'm telling you, that's on the green. Dude, I'm like eight feet from the pin. Jay didn't even believe me when I hit that shot. He was like, pretty good. That's still a par. That's still a par. 227. It's a good enough drive for me, man. Go up. Off oh, me. Never like that club. Sit. Should've gone more. I boof my riz. Don't get me dirty. 
R3s are not my thing. Oh, dunk. Go up. That's good. Get on the green. What the hell was that? Ricky Fowler, give me. Let's go. Hi. Ciao. Hey. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, kind of crusted that one. Oh, pulled it right. Of course I did. Break left. I didn't break at all. Maybe I read that wrong. Is it a bird? Why is it moving like that? Why is it moving like that? Wait, it is a beaver. It's like a squirrel. I can't even lie. That's like a squirrel. It's a cut. Oh my gosh, it's a rat. <gasps> oh, I did so bad. What was that? Hey, that's good. It's gonna roll down. That was intentional. Of course, I don't give it enough. My fans are out here. Thank you guys. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Make sure you're tuned into my Snapchat. I give live updates on my Snapchat. All right, time to hit, let's go. Stay on. Oh my gosh. I've lost my energy. Like I'm like a hummingbird. I constantly need sugar to stay alive. That was insane. Jeez. That's a tough one to hit. Wow. That was so nice. You know what? I call that one the grass mower. It's one of my specialty trick shots I just did. It's when it's a, a high wind impact day that's you hit a low skimmer. <laughs> All right guys, we finished the front nine. We're off to the back nine now. I hit a 45. After the first two holes, which I got pars on, I got two doubles and the rest were bogeys. I didn't know what really happened. I started to get really slow and then I realized I lost my earring. So the course itself, I think it's not as hard as it looks. The greens are not that fast to me. If you hit in the rough, your ball's gonna be pretty much gone. I think I'm still learning the distances on my new clubs right here and it obviously shows because I'll hit over like under it. I've only been in like, I think one bunker, which is pretty nice on the third hole. There's some iconic spots on the back nine, so I'm excited. Um, let's go. Guys, we're here on 18. It's straight. I saw something go straight. Guys, we're 240 from the pin. I miraculously found my ball half blind. I'm gonna hit like a hybrid because I'm more comfortable. I have no idea. This is gonna be a miracle. Guys, I was just about to give up hope and Jay sees my ball behind this piece of thing. That's pretty lucky. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to move this. I get a free club length out. Let's move it right here. I don't even see the pin. I know the green is right there. There's water on my left. Here we go. That's nice. Found our ball. Backside of the green, we're a little bit far. So I'm just gonna like send it that way. That's good. Oh my gosh, this is a Ricky Fowler gimme, so... Yes! Woo. We just got home, we had some pasta. It was a long day on the course. I shot a 41 on the back line, which was really good. The hardest part about this course was the tall grass on the sides. I'm still going 86, especially on this tough course. We ended up playing from the women's, they call it the women's pro tees or the blue tees. So we didn't actually get to play the Ryder Cup tees. I ended up playing Ryder Cup tees for number 16, which I got a par on. If you want to actually play the Ryder Cup for yourself, you should come out here and play it. It's awesome. It's a really beautiful spot. Stay tuned for another course review here on my YouTube. Like and subscribe to this video and make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's Grace Karis. I do live updates on there. So I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>